Welcome back. Foggy morning. We're getting the uh, saw put back together. It's just about ready to go. The only problems we had. Come on, John. Yesterday was this one right here. That bolt was stripped out. So we went to the shop. We had a fine thread bolt. Um, so basically. This is a separate piece in the saw blade. It's hooks to this and then hooks to the saw blade with these four bolts. That way it holds the saw together. So got that crimped together on the saw blade like it's supposed to be. Put this nut on here. There's a, uh, got the hole lined up there. There's all different holes in there to put that cotter pin through. I gotta put that in. And then uh, put these guards on right here. Those two guards right there. I'm ready to go. So another five minutes, but the saw is put back on. Uh, got that put on there because that's what was wrong last night. It was stripped out when I took it out. So uh, these two are pusher bolt holes. So these are just little itty bitty bolts in here. They're like this long, just to protect the threads. So you pull these out pull these out get longer bolts we had in the tool truck push them through and it splits that apart off from the saw blade pull this out then pull the saw off the blade off so um, it's not that complicated but there's a lot of RPMs here and like I said that's a six foot tall blade it's as tall as I am so it's big and it's no fun we're learning what's wrong I'll explain you in a little while. Josh is about ready to get fired up here and it's going to get loud. So when it gets quiet later, I'll explain to you exactly what happened yesterday. It was pouring rain when we left, so there was it was no fun. Welcome back everybody, it's just a quick little clip. I was gonna do a little bit of saw video. I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see. There's a skitter way out there, but I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But anyways, I got some logs finally stacked up here because the slasher's working again. And I figured we'll give you a little slashing video today and we'll cut some logs. Get you a cool little angle, but uh, yeah. Sunshine, it's beautiful, it's great. I mean, this cab is wonderful because it's got it's the first logging piece of equipment I've ever ran that has a uh, thermostat in it. So you can set it at an actual temperature and it sounds weird and then it stays there. Everything else that we have is all like, it's hot or cold. So, and, but it's beautiful. Sunshine's beautiful. Saw's beautiful. Timber's beautiful. Here we go.
So, this is how the saw broke. Everyone now probably wondering what exactly happened. So you have these chunks here. Every now and then you have a chunk cut off from something. Now I screwed up on those two. I had like a serious brain fart. Um, I cut them too long because the ends of the one, this end was bad. So I cut them like a foot too long. And then you grab, when you're done cutting, you flip it around and you cut the other side. <laughs> For some reason, I cut that. I cut it too long, lifted it up, pushed it back and cut off the good end. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways, you end up with some chunks and stuff laying around, and sometimes you have bigger ones like this, and what happened was, is there was a beach chunk that was in here. Um, it was might have been part of that chunk. Um, was fell down in here, and when I was sawing one of those nasty, ugly beach horns, um, it hit the saw. When it went through the log, it hit that that was laying down here. When it hit that, it flew it up into the saw. And what happened was, is somehow it got over here and hit that. It must have got wedged in here for a second because it didn't stop the saw. But it shoved it over to that right there. So that's what busted all them teeth off. Um, is it shot the saw over this way, busted three teeth, and then straightened back out. But, uh, anywho, uh... You tell me, should there be another plastic protector right here? Oh, they're up all the way around the whole inside of the, the guard, except for closest to us. I don't know. Anyways, that's what happened. That was the uh, culprit was that right there. Tore her up. Could do some damage. That's what caused it. You gotta figure it out. Thanks for watching. Just keep rolling.